I'm Dr. Stathi Polakitis, I'm the director of the burn unit at Cook County Health and Hospital Systems, and I'm here to comment on the use of blood stop in my burn patients as well as in traumatic patients that I've taken care of over the last year that I've been utilizing the product. Um, being a product that is relatively newer on the market, we had our skepticism at the beginning of our use, but very quickly found opportunities uh, in the burn realm that we were able to utilize this product. We started initially by placing product on our wound beds and burn patients that had had debridements with relatively large debridement surface areas uh, debrided that were as large as 15 to 20 percent. It quickly facilitated a hemostatic wound bed. As you can imagine in the burn world we deal with quite a bit of bleeding from the beginning of the time the patients present to us with coagulopathy uh, post their large burns. Um, we immediately utilize multiple different hemostatic agents to try to facilitate clotting and the blood clotting process. And as you can imagine, we could have some difficulties with escharotomy sites, which are cuts in the limbs to release pressure and circumferential burns. Um, we also have bleeding issues though when we're in the operating room, as you can imagine. And so this wound bed preparation was an actual excellent site that we can actually utilize the blood stop product in order to try to hemostase our patients. We very quickly found that with the blood stop product uh, adequately in contact with our wound beds, we had good control and near rest of our hemorrhage. We would wrap these uh, wound beds once they were placed with blood stop with a secondary dressing and allow some compression time for the blood stop to do its work. Once we would remove these secondary dressings, whether it be an ACE bandage or some type of a bamboo type product to facilitate good adherence of the blood stop. We would see a wound bed that would need relatively small amounts of cautery with the electrocautery sticks or suture ligation of blood vessels such that the wound beds were very quickly prepared for grafting and that really improves patient outcome, speed of the operation, and most importantly need for blood products and resuscitation in the operating room. We took it up a step from there and in utilizing the product we said well we do have bleeding from our donor sites why don't we try the blood stop product on our donor sites. Very quickly on five patients now that we've utilized it on donor sites and even on reharvested donor sites we're seeing seven day healing on these donor sites. This is not what we initially anticipated. We wanted to control the bleeding from the donor sites using the blood stop but we never anticipated the actual improvement in healing time and rates. Just so the lay people out there might identify these donor sites usually take somewhere between 14 to 28 days to heal and in patients that are both pediatric as well as adult we're seeing a seven day healing rate turnaround such that we're so excited about this we're actually adjusting some of our studies on the product and we're actually looking at donor site healing with this and we're finding some relatively fantastic results. Um, furthermore there's a realm for the blood stop product even above and beyond the burn world where I'm finding fantastic results with hemostasis. There's also additional utility in the traumatic world where ruptured spleens, ruptured livers, injured livers are identifying, and actually not ruptured, but traumatic, traumatized livers are finding uh, good utility of the blood stop product to control grades three, four, liver uh, lacerations and, and get good hemostasis, almost similar to other products out there um, without the need to worry for the product to actually remain because as is utilized with this product we identify that very quickly the product does melt away and in essence doesn't leave any residual but does leave a good well healed and clotted off wound bed. And so we're utilizing this product in quite a few realms and identifying excellent results uh, in hemostasis with that product. Um, for that, uh, I see huge opportunities in the future for the product to actually further be explored in the burn world, uh, plastic surgery world, ear, nose, and throat, dental, even orthopedic surgeries where they have extremely bloody operations with hip operations, etc., where the product can be balled up and actually put into a cavity and allow for control of the bleeding without having any residual um, matrix or residual product left behind that needs to be removed or that can act as an infectious nidus. So with that I find excellent utility with this product and uh, look forward to continuing its use and, and further studies in the future.